about Whole Foods banning poppies? What do you think about Whole Foods banning workers from wearing poppies? Well, it's ridiculous. I mean, having served in the military myself and defended the rights of Canadians and the people that you know have their own choice. I mean, obviously Whole Foods has their choice not to, uh, to put a uniform code in that's not applicable or that allows their employer or forces their employees not to wear poppies. However, it's all Canadians' rights not to shop at Whole Foods anymore either. And what was your reaction when you read that story? I, I was shocked and disappointed. Like, it's, you can do better. It's just, it's unacceptable that somebody would take a poppy that recognizes the supreme sacrifices and all that all our previous serving members of the Canadian Armed Forces have made, those that are still serving, and take away that act of remembrance. So to me, it's a poppy. It's just a simple gesture. It's not putting any harm on anybody and I actually hope uh, Whole Foods recognizes this and reverses their policy and actually makes the right decision to allow their employees to wear bonds. And is there going to be any discussions within the Conservative caucus about that? Well, I, I, I'm going to make a statement and I'm going to ask a question during question period about this. I don't think there's any discussion that needs to happen within the Conservative caucus. Uh, I think it's fairly evident uh, that common sense, uh, you know, and it's the same thoughts right across our whole caucus. And this is just not the, not the right decision by Whole Foods. First of all, I'm shocked uh, and, and disappointed. I, and what did they say? What is the reason for it? Because, what, it doesn't blend with it? It's a cause, I heard somebody say, that this is a cause? What and we're, and, and they, they, they're, they're corporately, they don't allow causes to be fought for? I mean, our democracy. The freedoms that we enjoy in this country and in all democracies were fought for by our veterans, and uh, it's it's uh, I, I'm embarrassed for them. If they forgot that, if they forgot how we got where we are, then uh, I, I I won't shop there. I won't shop there. Are you going to be calling on your, your your supporters to not shop there as well? No, that'll be up to individual decisions to make. Uh, but for me, I, 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 I mean, I just learned about this, and um, it's, uh, it, it's especially during this time. It's like wow, wow, disappointing, disappointing. I think that's sometimes when you have people sitting around a boardroom table in a corporate office who lose touch with people, lose touch with community, lose touch with what we're all about. Uh, you know, as, as a country uh, and, and as individuals, as families. I mean, the, the riding I come from, Medicine Carts and Warner, is a, it's, it's a big deal. People remember, they respect the people who sacrificed and are still sacrificing for our well-being. And um, that, that should never end. It should never, we should never be you know, embarrassed or say that this is a cause. This is not a cause. This is our freedom right here and a symbol. Thank you. Well, you know, I think that when this goes back down to the main company, they'll realize they made an absolutely huge mistake that truly when it comes to it, that we all wear poppies in Canada. It's reminding us our freedom and it's something that is a tradition of us for us here in Canada. The poppy campaign has been going on for over a hundred years and we see everybody taking these extra steps to make sure that we are wearing our poppies. It is really significant to commemorate and remember our veterans for all of that they have done. I think this is going to have an impact on them and they're going to have to come out and reverse this decision immediately. What do you hope it does for Canadians right now? Because a lot of people maybe in their moment stays in on their mind, maybe they think, okay, maybe I don't need to buy a poppy, you know, just because, you know, yeah. COVID. Well, you know, I recognize that a lot of people right now aren't going to be going out to the Cenotaphs and Memorials because, it, uh, because of COVID. We won't be standing shoulder to shoulder with all of those veterans who have served us over the time. It is the day for me that when I go out as a member, it is one of the proudest moments as I stand there with our veterans alongside them, remembering why we are here. And it's because of these women and men who have worked so hard to keep our freedom. So I think what we're going to see is a lot of people are going to take on and realize at a, at a time when we're all isolated that we have the freedoms because of our, our Canadian Armed Forces and all those who have served us in the past. All Canadians should boycott Whole Foods. Uh, it's a disgrace. You know, you think of the thousands of mothers who buried their faces in their pillows, sobbing in agony because their son or daughter would never come home from war. The least we could do is trouble ourselves to wear a poppy. The fact that this American-owned corporation is banning 
its workers from showing their gratitude is disgraceful and all Canadians should boycott Whole Foods.